Hello and welcome to another video of Next Elevations. My name is Eva and in today's video I want to share with you about uh, some feedback I got from Next Elevation subscribers, people who are subscribed to the base transmission and um, I just want to share that with you because some people they come back and they say they don't really know what to look for or what to accept, expect when they connect to the base transmission and there are videos out there already where I, I explained that, but I just thought I'd give some specific examples or more specific examples that you know what to look for. So basically first, if you feel energies, then you already feel it coming in. So this is like the first part, right? If you don't feel energies, don't worry about it. So what, what it is about is really look how your life is unfolding. So when you subscribe to that service, um, observe yourself like when you go to bed in the evening for example just reflect on your day if you if you don't can't do that during the day if you're busy um, doing something else so if you're able to reflect yourself in the evening for example um, okay how did my day go how how was it how did it unfold how did I feel who did I meet what opportunities came in okay and then just you know do this you can do this every day and then see how is this different from the, the two weeks ago or, or five weeks ago before I subscribed to this uh, base transmission. Okay, to give you some examples. For example, most people, <laughs> I mean, that's what most people's uh, feedback is. It's just that their life becomes more of unfolding in a flow. And this is really what this base transmission does. So it pulls you towards your personal highest truth. So sometimes first there is like, some clearing needs to happen, some stuck energies, just some blockages in a way need to be removed. There is a, a video I made about this, just where I talk about this as well, this aspect. But then when this is gone, or maybe it's not even there for you, you're pulled towards your personal highest truth. And that means just towards the best possible life experience, towards it. So it's an unfolding process. It's a process. So it's not that you are there and now, okay, you live your best life. No, it's like every day new, every day is a new day. And every day there is a new way of living your life or experiencing your life. And um, then where where is it pulled towards? Is it pulled away from your personal highest truth, from your highest potential and from your true nature? Or is it pulled towards? Okay, <laughs> so it's a process. And this is what most people report. Um, life is just more of a flow so they get up in the morning everything seems more effortless they have a more joy just more joy so it's not like that they run around like happy crazy you know party people <laughs> it's really more like okay wow i i'm motivated i get up in the morning i'm looking forward to this day whatever the day brings and then how is the day unfolding for example my i don't know it's I, I need only 10 minutes to work. Usually I drive 20 minutes because of traffic or I meet my neighbor who I haven't seen for a while and we had a lovely conversation or I get a phone call that, I don't know, a job I was looking for, there is now a, a free position or I go, I don't know, I meet nice people uh, on the way during my day when I'm at work. Things are just easier. I feel the work is done a bit easier um there is not so much like uh, um blockages or there is not like the work seems just a lot easier and i need to do less i uh, put in i put in less effort to reach my goals for the day for example um i don't know i have a, a beautiful conversation with my partner uh yeah, and so on, or, or I get a gift from somebody, and it just it, it just seems so often like life is so okay. I need to fight for my things, or it, it has to be hard, or I have to work for for my goals really hard, um, or I'm I'm like a victim of my life, you know, in that kind of view. And this kind of when you pulls it towards your personal highest truth, it's like the total opposite. It's like you're getting exactly what you need in the exact moment when you need it. So when an obstacle is there, you get exactly the tool at the moment you need to overcome this obstacle. Um, and just in general, there is more well-being and there is more of a joy in experiencing your day. So it's effortless. And then we often call them miracles. So you experience miracles, whatever that is 
for you. <laughs> Miracles is just something that's when we pull towards our highest truth, it just comes in all the time. So it's just normal. But for some people, you know, when you like get a gift or I don't know, you you win something or I don't know, a good news are coming in, they're miracles, but in the end they're not miracles. It it should be like that all the time, you know, like when you pull towards your personal highest truth, it should be there all the time. It's like something it gets quite normal. So Basically, this unfolding of your day, everyday life experience, being more in a flow, things are more effortless. Uh, this is what most people report. Okay, then, for example, um, abundance. So people have reported, for example, that their office or their um, their finances weren't great. So they didn't have a lot of contracts coming in for a certain amount of time. And when signing up to the next elevations, over the course of a week, uh, new opportunities were coming in, new clients were coming in. Just an example. Um, pets. Uh, somebody was sharing that their dog was usually shy and um, didn't really like to engage with humans so much. And from the moment on, basically subscribing or on the next day, subscribing to the next elevations, the dog was like, totally loving and open and was looking for like contact with the owner and uh, looking for uh, getting yeah getting the love and the connection and um, so really beautiful so total opposite than the dog usually was or another dog old dog um, was vital still vital and stuff like that but just now like the energy of the dog is like the energy of a younger dog a lot lot younger dog so there's just more curiosity again there is just wanting to go for walks more more excitement in in the dog when seeing the owner for example so there's just the whole the whole being of the dog is elevated um just an example um then, yeah, also what uh, people are sharing is just overall more energy for daily life tasks or for, yeah, going on with your day. So before that, they felt like they had, there was something draining their energy or they just didn't have a lot of energy available, even doing for everyday normal life uh, tasks. Um, and this kind of is back now. So there is just energy there. So they, they have energy available to do things like daily life things and also new per perspectives opened up like new possibilities and opportunities and sometimes they don't have to come in in that kind of way when they open so when I say they open up but it's more like you seeing them because they were there before but you know when you don't have a lot of energy there's just not much happening and the energy you have available is only for I don't know a few little things then there is not much energy to look, okay, what else is there? What else can I do? Uh, and, and then if there is energy, you can actually look at these things and then see them. Uh, then health, health improvements. So people have shared, also people who have uh, this health frequency booster, but also not, so it doesn't really matter. Um, both, both uh, I have, I've heard, uh, from both people who had it and who don't have it, that just their health is improving. So they have an illness and they just overall feel better. They feel their health is improving. There is more well-being in their body. And it also goes hand in hand with having more energy available again because their uh, physical issues just drained their energy or kept it low. And they just now have more energy available. And then people, for example, who have a daily meditation practice or a general meditation practice, they have uh, shared that, for example, they can easier, like meditation is a lot easier. They drop into a lot deeper states. It's a lot easier for them to sit longer. And also it's easier for them basically to do their daily meditation practice, like just to, to do them. And then they also feel they just got more out of them. So they're more fruitful. And this is basically what this space transmission yeah, is, is doing, is enhancing uh, spiritual practices. And also, basically, it's a meditation, a 24-7 meditation without you needing to meditate. But if you still like to meditate and do spiritual practice, of course, um, this is what it helps with. Um, so I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to give a few examples so that you kind of can look for yourself 
what is happening for you, where do you see improvement, or also, this is actually a very big and important part, things are improving, but it's also shown what you can improve, right? So things are shown to you. This is a very big part. Um, and then you can take actions. So before it wasn't seen or you just couldn't see it, you didn't know. And then because you're exposed to that transmission, certain things are shown to you so that you can let certain things go, add certain things to your life, whatever it is, just to have a, a better life experience or that things are more in alignment with you. Um, okay, again, didn't want to make the video too long. Just to give you a few examples, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know and enjoy, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.